Hello everyone, today I have a tutorial Oi! on how to swap games. So you see, I have one heart, one apple. And here I'm going to the next game. And I still have one heart and one apple. Hmm, how to do that? And that is with the help of Swap Nodon. In today's tutorial, I will show what the Swap Nodon is. Second, I will show you how to swap between games, then show you how to send one value to the second game. And lastly, I will show you how to send multiple values. Let's go, guys! Step 1. Let's get to know Swap Nodon. So, Swap Nodon is that I'll put the try and swap and swap game. With this Nodon, you can switch between games and your game will be switched when the input is not zero. The input value will also be sent to another game. And in the next game, we have received the value from the previous game by reading the value from the output. Let's go look at the settings. So there are two swap types, which are keyword. And back to previous, keyword means it will try to find the game with matching swap target keyword. And back to previous means like it will go back to where we come from. And the game keyword is the name of the current game so that the other games can jump into this game. There are two types of transaction appearance with or without title. Let's use this swap game Nodon to create a game that can change between stages and sending the amount of HPs. Let's go. Yeah. And here I have two games called Swap 1 and Swap 2. What I want here is that I want to send the amount of hearts from the first game to the second game and then we continue. Let's take a look what I have in the first game. So in the first game, there is a fluff ball that can reduce the number of hearts I have. I can attack the fluff ball and then collect the apples. Then when I reach the goal, right, the game will be restarted, but I do not want that. I want to go to the next stage, the space stage. So let's do that. Okay, this is the game. Basically, I modified the template that I have provided you, and you can find it in the description box below. Yeah, this is the map of the game. There is one fluff now, and there are two apples for collection. And this is the rocket... Okay, so let's see how we can use Swap Nodon to go to the next game instead of restarting. Currently, the game ends when we reach the rocket. The rocket will check if a person has touched it or not. If a person has touched it, the timer will delay the output by 2 seconds before retrying the game. But we do not want to retry. We want to go to the next stage. Remove this. And here we can add the swap nodon. So we go to output, retry and swap, and then swap game. And because we want to go to the next game, right? We can link the output to the swap's input. Then we go to the configuration, swap target keyword. We set it to be the name of the game that we want to go next. Let's call it EV2. Okay. But. We have only set the target keyword. We haven't given the name to the second game yet. So let's go back. And then let's go to the second game. To make sure that the first game can jump to this game, we need to add another swap node on here. And here we have to change the name of this game keyword to match the target earlier, which is EV2. Okay. So, let's take a look if now we can jump from the first game to the second game. Okay, let's try the first game. Oh no! So now I have lost two hearts. Let me attack the fluff ball. Then collect two apples. Then we reach the rocket. Yeah! Now we can go to the second stage. Now the number of hearts is three, but I want to transfer this value from the previous game. Let's modify the first game so that the first game can send the number of hearts left to the second game. This part of program computes how many hearts are left. And it sends the number of hearts to this hash part. Yeah, so we need 
we need the value from the hedge plot to be sent to the swap game nodon. Let's add middle program layout wormhole exit. And we change this to hash. The initial value of hash is 3, right? Because we have 3 hearts at the beginning. And if we just connect it directly like this, the game will just swap. We only want it to swap after we have reached the sensor at the rocket. So let's remove this. And then we add a multiplication. Next, we time hash output with the output from the timer to EV2 swap game nodon. So this means that once the touch sensor becomes 1, this output will be 1. Let's say that it is 2. 2 times 1 will be 2. And yeah, because it is not 0, the swap game nodon will be activated and we will jump to the second game. We also have to modify the second game to read this value. Let's go. Yeah, so this is the current layout of the second game, right? We start with the number of hearts equal to 3, but actually we want the number of hearts to come from the earlier game. So instead of using this constant value, we can use the output from this swap game nodon. So what will happen here is that when the first game ends, it will send the number of hearts to the second game via this swap game nodon. And the second game will read the value. Go back to the first game and see it in action. Okay, let's play the first game, guys. Okay, let me lose at least one heart. Oh my god, I lose two. Let me attack it. And I collect two apples. Then, yeah, I have reached the rocket. Will I have one heart? Yeah, now I only have one heart left. So you can see that, yeah, with the swap game node on, you can create games with a lot of stages. What if I also want to transfer the number of apples? I have only one part on the swap node on. How can we do that? Let's try. Here is the idea to send both the number of hearts and the number of apples. Okay, so in this case, instead of just sending one as the number of hearts, I will send 12. Let's say if I send 12 to the next game, I can get the first digit as the number of hearts. And I can use the second digit as the number of apples that I have collected. So how can we send 12 instead of 1? That's simple. Okay, so here is where I count the number of apples. And the number of apples is sent to the P part. Okay, so now instead of sending the value 1, we want to send the number 12 instead after we have reached the rocket. Okay, so let's move this swap node on and the calculation here. Like, we can no longer use the number of hearts directly. We have to times it by 10 first. Okay, let's add multiplication and constant 10. Next, we have to add the number of apples, right? And we can get the number of apples from pot P. We add the number of apples to the number of hearts times 10. And we only want this output to be positive when we have touched the sensor. So yeah, we need this multiplication here. Let's go to the second game to read this value correctly. In the second game, you can no longer just read this value, right? Let's say that I have one heart, two apples. Now the output here is 12. So how to get the digit at the place 10? Yes, we can do divide. Yay! So let's say if I divide this output by 10, let's add 10 here. It is 12 now, right? So the output here will be 1.2. How to change it to be 1? To change it into 1, we need one more step. We have to add minus 0 
output will be 0 0.7 then we need to add convert and then digitize when we use digitize with the number of stages as 2 it means that the value from 0 to 0 0.5 will be 0 and the value from 0 0.5 to 1 will be 1 so right now we have 1.2 minus 0 0.5 which is 0 0.7 after we go to digitize it will become 1 and that is the number of hearts that we want okay let's get the number of apples so now we have the value in the 10 digit like we have got one right we have to subtract 10 from 12 so here we have the output from the swap node on then we have to times the output again by 10 yeah so this means that this output here is 10 right i mean the output from this output here will be 10 then we need to add minus 12 minus 10 gives 2 so this is the amount of apples that we have and then we need to add this to the number of apples that we are going to collect in this game so we plus the number of apples from the previous game with the number of apples that we have collected in this game send it to the p part which is the number of apples are you ready to see how our hard work pays off Let's go back to the first game. So, yeah, I have lost one heart. Then I have collected one apple. Then I have then I reached the rocket. Okay, let's see. Yeah, now I have two hearts and one apple. Let's see if I collect more apples. Yeah, now I can have three apples. And that's it for today's tutorial, guy. Hope you enjoy it and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any tutorials that you want me to make leave me a comment below bye bye see ya